Replay, replay. So good evening, everyone. My name is Robin, Certified Nutrition Specialist, and I have Renetta and Carolyn uh, with me. We're going to talk about, uh, this is One Simple Change, Bariatrics Edition. We're talking nutrition, casual conversation, really to help others understand, enlighten them. What I know as a nutritionist or just in this, this space, all of us need certain nutrients in our bodies in order to function. And it is my understanding that when you have bariatric surgery, sometimes it makes it different to absorb nutrients and that you need, you need that. And Carolyn and Bernetta both have some, a journey and some insight. It is also my understanding that if you have had bariatric surgery, then you need certain supplements. You, you need certain supplements. And we all we are also then going to talk about a supplement that they both use and they'll share with you why, why it makes sense and then what it's done for them. And just it's just it's just giving you all some information. So that being said, I, I'm gonna start with Renetta and I'm just gonna ask you all some questions and, and then we will just bounce off of each other. But Renetta, you had and I hope I'm saying the terminology right. I say bariatric surgery. Is it better to say bariatric surgery, weight loss surgery? Does it matter? Um, bariatric surgery is very correct. It's very, okay. So, very correct. <laughs> so tell us, and then I'll ask Carolyn, tell us when you had your surgery and then what type, because there's different ways to right. bariatric surgery. So what, when and what? So I had bariatric surgery back in 1997. So it's been, what, 23 years? <laughs> wow. Okay. And I actually had what is called the gastric bypass. It was designed by Dr. Malphobi. Um, and he was the one who actually did my procedure. Okay. So, so the gastric bypass in 1997. And then Carolyn, uh, what procedure did you have and then when? Um, I had the lap band, which is a restrictive surgery. It doesn't remove any of the stomach or staple any of it in 2008 and lost a significant amount of weight, but found myself gaining again without being able to uh, control it with the lap band. Mm -hmm. So I had it, what they call a revision in 2018, and they actually took the lap band out and did a vertical gastric sleeve. So that means they took about two thirds of my stomach out and stapled it. So they call it a banana surgery sometimes mm -hmm. because that's kind of what your stomach looks like now. Right. Okay, got it. Now, when you, as when you all have bariatric surgery, what supplements generally do the doctors recommend that you have? I'm good. I'm gonna go with Bernetta, and then I'll come back to Carolyn. What do they out the door? What do they say? You need this, you need this. And that. What is the standard, if there is a standard that you're asked to, to take? Um, okay, so that's definitely a very big part of it. Um, we spent a long time discussing. Uh, one of the issues with bariatric surgery is that your absorption rate changes, no matter which version you do. Mm -hmm. I had the version where my stomach um, was actually separated and my small intestine was brought up uh, to connect with the bottom of my esophagus and my stomach is about this big. Okay. And uh, so my food stays in this tummy for that, you know, for its time. And then it goes right into my small intestine, which means that my food doesn't have the chance to go through um, the process that it would normally go through in the stomach. And yes, my stomach is still there. If I wanted to have a revision, I could. Um, so we were told immediately, you're going to need to take the multivitamins, the iron, um, the zinc. Um, and, and we were told for the rest of our lives, we were going to have to do supplements because we were never going to be able to absorb the way we did before the surgery. Okay. And then Carolyn, um, do you want to add into that? And then obviously we're going to get into specifically what supplements and just a little bit more into what you all are doing, but what um, did you want to add or, or um, any insight on that? What did, what did, what did, what were you told to take? Um, pretty much the same thing as Bernetta. Um, I think they might've added calcium to that. Um, yeah, calcium. 
iron was very important. I did become anemic um, probably three or four years later, but that could have been related to a cancer diagnosis versus the bariatric surgery, but we nobody knows for sure. Uh, so the iron, the zinc, the magnesium, uh, a multivitamin, um, and most of the centers now, uh, maybe not back in 1997, because I don't think they had the bariatric center of excellence certification that they go through now, mm -hmm. but they all recommend pretty much the same regimen. So it doesn't matter where in the country you are, they're going to recommend the same brand of vitamins and they have a bariatric version of them. So you don't just go get the one a day or the Centrum Silver or Centrum or whatever. They actually have vitamins that are formulated for patients that have bariatric surgery. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So now here's the question. You all have this recommendation. And as you said, it's a standard recommendation. And then both of you take Juice Plus. And so I'm going to explain for those of you who don't know what it is, just a, a little bit. Of, so Juice and Plus, Juice Plus is fruits and vegetables in a capsule or a chewable, which we will talk about chewable versus capsule. And it is fruits and vegetables absorbed really well in the body. Generally speaking, that's not what the doctors are sending you out with because maybe they don't know about it. They don't understand it. So my question to you all is, first of all, how did you hear? So I'm going to go back to Brunetta. How did you hear about Juice Plus? Why did it make sense? So two, so questions. How did you hear about it? Why did it make sense? And what has been your experience with taking it? So how did you hear about it? Why did it make sense? And what's been your experience? Well, okay. So um, yes, uh, when, you know, with bariatric surgery, the, the, the thing at the top of your list is absorption, like getting all those vitamins in. And you're absolutely right, Carolyn. I forgot about the calcium. And I even spent some time worrying with my blood. And it was, it was my blood work that drove me um, to find out more. And uh, I met this wonderful lady, Miss Robin, at a health fair. And she had this beautiful banner of all the fruits and vegetables and things. And I said, oh my gosh, I need that. Um, by this time in my journey, I had lost uh, and I've kept off 180 pounds or so. Um, but again, once you get it off, you realize that getting it off is not the hardest part. It's keeping it off and managing your body in a healthy manner. And I knew I needed to get, I needed to get my vegetables and things in. So when you have bariatric surgery, your stomach is smaller in some way, which means you eat less and you also absorb less. And so you're always looking for easy ways to get in all of your fruits and vegetables, your minerals, whatever you may do. And um, so that's how I found out about it. And once I saw, or once I knew that I could get all my vegetables in one place in my hand, you know, and take them every day, I was sold. Do you, do you still take a multivitamin? I do not. Yeah. Something happened to your sound. There you go. I okay. do not. I, the only thing I use is my fruit blend, my vegetable blend, my berry blend. I do the omegas. Of course I do the shakes. Um, and so these things and my blood work proves yeah. um, that uh, when I tell you absorption is happening, mm -hmm. it is happening. So uh, that's the happy part. That that's I'm reiterating something important that you said was through your blood work. And I always yes. say with, with Juice Plus, we're not just saying because it's fruits and vegetables in the capsule. We're not just saying take it, take our word for it. We're saying take it and check your blood work. And that's where the evidence lies. And when you're taking it and you're absorbing it, because that's important, and it goes through the, to the bloodstream bioavailable, which means it's easier to get into your body, then, then you know it works. And not taking, you, you, people are taking a multivitamin, it's a synthetic form of isolated nutrients. So when you're taking the Juice Plus, you're getting the, all of the uh, phyto nutrients that your body needs, the pits, the peels, the yes. skin, all of that. And we just want y'all to know about it and understand I it. I know, yes. Yeah, because a lot I of I have a happy story this week. I just had my blood work done for a, just a, you know, I had to get blood work done. And I just found out, you know, that my iron levels are perfect. Wow. So, I mean, wow. Talk about that because Carol and I can relate to being, you know, anemic. We can yeah. relate to that and how that feels. Yeah. And what that, it's you know. very, very fatiguing. 
Oh my gosh. So, so to, to know that, oh my gosh, in two and a half years or so, that's changed for me. And wow. Wow. So with Carolyn, what, for, this, for you too as well, how did you hear about it? And then why did it make sense? And then what have you noticed? I actually um, was introduced to Ju Juice Plus early 2000 by a coworker. Um, I'm a nurse. I work at a hospital. And her brother-in-law was actually a national marketing director with the Juice Plus company. Mm -hmm. And she had been taking it as well as her husband. And she told me about it. And at that point in time, I was 150 pounds overweight. And I was just sick and tired of being sick and tired. I would tried, you know, multiple diets vitamins didn't seem to help me. I mean, I, you know, one a day, whatever centrum, whatever I happened to be taking, I was still fatigued all the time. I was having allergies. So I, I really, I started taking it in 2000 within about six months, I realized that there was a difference. I was off allergy shots. Um, still have taken an allergy pill, but it's, a, it's just, you know, just one pill. I don't use a whole lot. Um, and I noticed that my energy level went through the roof, um, you know, so that was the biggest change for me. And then it also, through this community, I started learning about nutrition. Now you would think as a registered nurse, I would know some stuff, but you know, we get, um, taught about carbs and, uh, fats and proteins and, you know, and how to make a low carb diet and how to make a low fat diet and all that kind of stuff. But they don't really tell us what the fruits and vegetables and the berries and all that do for you. Mm -hmm. And um, I was never a big fruit and vegetable salad eater. I mean, my preferred food was junk, uh, <laughs> chips and uh, fast foods, hamburgers, fries. Um, I did make a session. I, ate, I drank diet soft drinks instead of regular. Cause I figured, you know, if I'm going to have a big Mac, I might as well have a diet drink, you know, that'll offset those calories. Right. So, and it didn't, which is why I ballooned up to almost 270 pounds. So I just decided I was old enough that if I didn't do something to change my health, I wasn't going to be around very long. I wasn't going to be able to see my daughter get married. And, you know, if she had babies, watch those kids grow up. And I just decided I had to do something. So after eight years of research on the bariatric surgery, and trying to figure out how I was going to pay for it, I just took the plunge, paid for it, and had the surgery done, and immediately lost about, oh, I would say about 60 pounds within a matter of about three, four months. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just felt so much better. I looked better. So I had been taking the Juice Plus all that time. And I told the doctor when I started the surgery, I said, I'll take your vitamins because you say I have to, but mm -hmm. I am not stopping this Juice Plus. I'm going to continue to take it. And then after the first, I think we have a, a week post-op and then a three month and a six month. And after the six month post-op visit, I just kind of dropped off their vitamin regimen. Mm -hmm. um, they've known about it. They haven't had a problem with it. I don't even think with the second surgery, I even bought any of their bariatric vitamins. Mm -hmm. um, because as you said, the absorption, it's proven fact that when you have a a chemically processed or artificially processed vitamin, your body doesn't absorb it. You actually eliminate what about 80 to 90% of it through your digestive tract and your kidneys and things like that. So I just continued the juice plus regimen. And honestly, um, it was like five years later, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And it was after that diagnosis, the radiation treatment and the surgery surgery and a few little complications with that, that they were anemic. Um, and I had to get some iron infusions and take some supplemental iron for a few months, but I, I don't even think I've had any supplemental iron for several years now. And, you know, I continue to work full time. I'm an eight year cancer survivor and um, I continue to take the juice plus on a daily basis. And like Bernetta, I take the fruit, the vegetable, the berry and the omegas. The only other thing I didn't add, um, I take a D3. I don't get enough sunshine to make my own. So I work in an office and I'm not out in the, the sun a lot. So I do take a D3 supplement two or three times a week. Thank you all for that. So here, here's a question. And I, I truly need you all to answer this one because I, I died this, this one. So Juice Plus has capsules. Juice Plus has chewables. 
Um, I'll ask you, Bernetta, then I'll go on to, to Carolyn as far as your experience, because you know there's different surgeries and some people say you can't take this, this, you can't take that. So what is your understanding or knowing or insight, Bernetta, on should a person with a surgery, chewables or capsules, how do you take it? How does, what do you know? Wow, that's a big question. And I think it's a good one. I'm going to say that everybody's body is different. And if you've had um, the procedure for a while, then you'll know what you're most comfortable with. Mm -hmm. um, one of the concerns about sweets, the gummies, is that um, for those of us that had uh, that full gastric bypass where our food bypasses our stomach and goes right into the small intestine, there is an event um, that happens if you have too much sugar at one time for your body. It's called the dumping syndrome. And um, it could cause a number of symptoms, um, you know, fast beating hard and you break out in a sweat. Some people get dizzy and, and weak and need to sit down. And it's different for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, however, I will just tell you, I've, I've personally never experienced that on the gummies. Um, the gummies are, are a natural sugar, the tapioca, and um, it is a wonderful carrier for all of those nutrients that we uh, are looking to have. Some other people have a trouble, a challenge with capsules, mm -hmm. okay, so they don't want to swallow them. I have no problem with capsules either. Um, so I'm, I'm probably not the best person to ask. Okay. Um, yeah. I can just swallow them. Uh, I can throw them in my smoothie and drink them. Um, so it just depends on what's comfortable for you. And if you're new, if you're a new surgery um, newbie, then you're going to want to start small with the gummies and see how your body tolerates it. With it. I think I have a, a, a client and they're, with um, the, the gummies, they're concerned about the sugar because mm -hmm. they're, they're new and they're watching their, their carbohydrate intake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they're looking at it and they're saying, well, I don't want to, I don't want to use my, you know, I don't want to put carbohydrate, right. it's, a, it's a natural sugar. The other thing about the capsules and Carolyn, I'm going to come to you with the capsules, you truly can uh, make it and put it into your mm -hmm. smoothie. Mm -hmm. And that works like hands down, you can put it into your protein and mm -hmm. get it because getting that nutrition into your body, as y'all heard is critical. critical. So critical. Um, Carolyn, what's your, what's your take on it? And we're, we're going to wrap up soon. We're going to see if you, there are any questions out there, but um, Carolyn, what's your take on that? Well, I really don't remember what I used to start with. I think I may have used the gummies because that was a, a while back. So, um, and I've slept since then a few times. Um, and I talked to several people a month who are having bariatric surgery about Juice Plus. And what I recommend to them, if they want to purchase it, we talk about the sugar content and the natural sugars versus, you know, processed sugars and things like that. The other thing that helps slow down absorption is the amount of fiber. And I don't think the gummies have the amount of fiber that the capsules have. So that's a consideration. Uh, but I do tell them uh, with, when you have uh, stomach stapling, you don't wanna stress that suture line for about 10 days or so after surgery, which is why you're left on a liquid and a full liquid diet for almost two to three weeks after the surgery. And I tell them to put the gummies in like four ounces of water and let them dissolve. Somebody said that. And then you can just drink them. Yes. And I recommended that to my daughter with her baby, you know, before he was chewing, you can put a, a half of a gummy in a bottle of his formula and let it dissolve or water and let him drink it that way. So, you know, when they get to the point where they can add the fruits and vegetables to their diet, you can introduce it that way. My oldest grandson actually started chewing gummies when he was about two. Um, and he's been on them ever since. And um, so the capsules, like you said, you can throw them in smoothies, you can open them up and mix them in yogurt. Um, or if you've got protein puddings or anything like that. So there's any number of ways you can get it down initially after surgery. But I'm like Bernetta right now, I put a handful of capsules in my mouth. And I just a big old glass of water and down them first thing in the morning. So 
I think um, I like what you said about the chewables because someone else had said that before that you can put them in water and they will um, liquefy or they will you can just drink them. Well, they, yeah, they dissolve. It does dissolve. take a while. It takes a little bit of, of time, maybe about an hour or so. But, uh, but if you put them in a glass of water the night before, then they're ready for you the next morning. That's so. really, really good. I always say this, no matter if, you know, and as Bernetta said, um, we have to do what works for you, but get it in. Um, I know that some of you all just popped in and so maybe you can listen to the recording, but that nutrition is hands down the best nutrition that you can get in an authentic way and an absorbable way. And so I will reiterate this, you, you know, just like, don't take my word for it, but do it consistently and then check your blood work. It makes you feel better. Um, as Carolyn said, and Bernetta said, they, 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 they feel better. And that's the point. You, you have this surgery, you have this procedure, and now you want your body to function optimally. And we know that this is a way to do that. So Renetta and Carolyn, let me just, um, I'm going to go back to you and just, are there any last minute thoughts or words before we, um, before we go? And there may be a chance where we can ask uh, some questions in there, but Renetta, any last minute thoughts um, before we? I, I did have a thought um, that, you know, as bariatric patients, we are always checking our blood levels. That's, that's where we live, we do this. Mm -hmm. And so um, someone that is considering it, you already have a wonderful baseline because you've, you've you got your blood levels uh, recently. And so um, I say, give it a try. And if you're concerned about the carbs and the sugar, mm -hmm. go for the capsules, get them in your applesauce or your, uh, you know, I use uh, the dairy-free yogurt and get mm -hmm. it in, um, or I use my shake. Yeah. And then um, when you get back, to you know getting your blood levels checked you'll have a wonderful way to reflect and to see the difference uh, along with the changes that you notice in that four month period um, I didn't have four months my first time um, but there was a marked difference in my blood levels in just 30 days with juice plus so yeah. I, I just you know wanted to put that out there yeah that's important it's like the proof is in the blood work that is where you get to see what's happening. Carolyn, any, any last minute comments or thoughts on that? Um, well? Actually, I, I was interested when Bernetta said, put it in applesauce, because if you're concerned about the amount of sugar in gummies, actually applesauce probably has more sugar in it than gummies do, a serving in gummies. I don't know that for a fact, but I would definitely compare that. But applesauce is a great thing to mix some capsules in because it, <laughs> yes, it, it, it makes it go down. It makes it go down easier. <laughs> Um, I actually would encourage anybody considering bariatric surgery, if you're mm -hmm. going to do it, get on the juice plus before you start the surgery, before you have the surgery, don't wait till after because mm -hmm. your body needs that nutrition and mm -hmm. that buildup in order to recover. Um, mm -hmm. Because despite the fact that they're doing everything laparoscopically, most of it's a day surgery now, unless you have some other things that they're worried about, you might stay overnight, but it's a major surgery. You know, mm -hmm. it's still a major surgery. You're not getting the six or eight inch incision like we did 20 years ago mm -hmm. or 30, um, but you still have part of your organ pulled out or removed or rearranged. Um, and definitely the absorption is a big thing, no matter which, which way you go. So very important. And the and other thing is I found that we have to get a lot of protein in. Mm -hmm. So it's almost impossible to get the amount of fruits and vegetables and berries in every day that we should eat, even if we ate them from the grocery store. We can't get that volume in. And I, I want the listeners to understand that Juice Plus, even though it looks like it's in the capsule, it looks like a supplement, but if you look at it, it'll say nutrition facts. So I wouldn't, it's, it's not considered a supplement, it's considered food. So look, look at the label if you have it. Because sometimes when you go to the doctor and you say, oh, they'll say, do you take supplements? And then you say, yes, I take this. It, it's food. It really is fruits and vegetables, which is what our bodies need to thrive. So with that being said, for those of you who are listening live, listening in the recording, you have more questions, contact the person that invited you here. 
to figure out how you can start adding these fruits and vegetables in your life. If you already have them, but you didn't take them or you're not consistent, I urge you to do that because it is top-notch nutrition and we want you to feel well through and through and get all of this into your system. So again, contact the person that invited you here to figure out how you can get it into your system. And lastly, to take it consistently for four months. And since you get your blood work done frequently, then you can tell, but give it that four months of consistency in order to, to know that. So with that being said, I'm going to turn off the recording and